You're drunk right now. And that's not going to change. You kind of have a drinking problem. I recognize the problem. Well, fair enough. Okay, we're live. Kamala Harris, welcome. And I see you brought your emotional support dog with you today, which is great. Before I came in, your campaign staff out there gave me this list of really great softball questions that I'm allowed to ask. Helps stay true to the spirit of journalism, so thanks for that. But I might stray from the list just a tiny little bit. Now, I think you'd agree this is an intense election. Like recently, your political opponent, President Trump, was almost assassinated. And I am sure y'all at the White House are working tirelessly to find out who orchestrated this whole thing. Do y'all have any leads about who did it? We did it. What? Who did? Joe Biden and I, to be honest. Really? He was shot. I'll say that that's good work. Oh, that's... uh... Wow, I can't believe it. Do you feel any remorse? No, not at all. Oh. There's more to do, but that's good work. Wait, so you would try it again? Yes, I would. Seriously? I would, I think. Obviously, the guy you used on the first try wasn't successful. Who would you use on the next attempt? No, No one in particular. But I'm sure you've discussed who it might be. Did you talk to Hillary? Did she have anything to say about it? Oh, she had a lot to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> she had a lot to talk about. <laughs> of course she did. Uh, what, when did you talk to her? It was, um, it was a Sunday. Good God, that's even more demonic. Tim, uh, are you on board with all this? I think people know who I am. Yeah, they do. You guys could go to prison for this. Next question, please. (laughs) (laughs) No, seriously, this is a major crime. This is a big deal. One more question on this, please. All right, your resting bitch face tells me you really want to move on, so we shall. Let's talk about moving forward. You make a lot of great promises about what you'll do if you get into office. But you've been in office for almost four years, and most things have objectively gotten much worse. The border, crime, inflation, it's pretty bad. How could you let this happen? In large part, all of that because of mismanagement. Yeah, Uh, I guess that would be it. That is the reality of it, and four years of being vice president. But I'd like to imagine how you will do things has no correlation to how you've always done things. So if you do win this definitely not rigged election, what would you do specifically to fix all the problems in our country? Uh, Let me be very clear. Mm -hmm. When we do what we have done, I believe it is very important that we take seriously what we must do and how it does so matters. And to do that, we can do what we have accomplished thus far. But I will say this. So I'm very clear about where I stand. My values have not changed. I kept my word and I will keep my word. When we do what we did, which is part of the American dream. It sounds like a very well thought out strategy. If you win, will that be like a bill you sign or something? I will make sure that it comes to my desk and I would sign it. Uh, Very good. Now that we clearly understand how exactly you'll turn the country around. Tim, I forgot you were alive over there, buddy. As governor, the accomplishment you're most known for is getting tampons into all the boys' restrooms and schools. We did it in Minnesota. You sure did. And you did it when nobody else wanted to. People were saying things like, it's unnecessary or it's a stupid idea. But you knew the importance of it. And presumably, this came from your positive exposure to tampons during your formative years as a boy. What did it mean to you when you put your first tampon in? It was just such a uh, a visceral, emotional moment that I'm I'm just, I'm grateful I got to experience it. I think history is going to show that in so many ways it was transformative. Yes, I think we're all touched by Tim's bravery around tampons. But now let's close with some rapid-fire questions. Kamala, who's the biggest dipshit you've ever known? Well, my first thought was not about me, to be honest with you. Yeah, well, no, I I meant the biggest dipshit you've ever known, aside from yourself. I have um, served with President Biden um, for almost four years now. Right. Now, you've known the Obamas for a while now. Did Michael confide in you when he wanted to transition to being a Michelle? And the phone rang, and he told me what he had decided to do. And um, I asked him, are you sure? What did he say? And he said, yes. 
Fantastic. Now, Madam Vice President, on the monitor, you can see you in the process of sleeping your way to the top by way of a photograph of you with Montel Williams and another side girl. Have you seen this photograph before? But I did see that photograph and I was deeply touched by it. The left criticizes Trump for sleeping with side girls, but you are a side girl running for the same presidency. How does that feel? Um, it's very humbling. It's very humbling in many ways. Do you have any morals? No, not at all. Not at all. Fair enough. Kamala and Tim, you both come across so well on camera. Fantastic, actually. Thank you for taking the time to sit down and just be so interesting. Thanks Thank for you. Having Thank us. you, Jana. Thank you. What? Tim Waltz is thanking me? What an honor. You know what, Tim? You're welcome. And thank you for all your service overseas. Man, oh man, oh man, I'll tell you what. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> folks. <laughs> that was absolutely classic. I've seen that person's stuff. I don't know who he is. I'm trying to think of it off the top of my head. It's been some time that he's come on, you know, I've looked on his feed or whatever. Um, so you can drop that down in the comments uh, when you take a look and, and just let everybody else know. But this guy's been doing this for a very, very, very long time. And I wanted just to let it run through by itself without, you know, commenting on it. Because every time you're watching it, I just start laughing out loud. And it would just be... It would, you know, come on. I mean, <laughs> when he first asked about the assassination, and do you know who did it? Are you planning to do it again? And then, you know, asking about her accomplishments, and then putting together that word salad. <laughs> it was so delicious. And then, tampon Tim, uh, I would have brought up the questions that, you know, is there any way that you can show us, okay, how did you utilize that tampon, Tim? I mean, can you give us an idea? Can you give us, how was that first insertion for you? <laughs> and then, talking about the transitioning of Michael to Michelle. <laughs> The phone call that he confide in you. <laughs> Who's the biggest dipshit that you know? <laughs> no, I mean, at first I wasn't thinking of myself. <laughs> oh my God, that's just great, great stuff. I mean, I'm telling you what, Trump, they ought to use that when they go to these rallies. It's just like, like an intro as people are walking in and just looping that thing up there. I mean, that's just classic, classic stuff, folks. Unbelievable. Anyways, you've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your host, Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow. So let us know what you think. Put your comments down below. Please let me know who that is. Uh, like I said, as I still can't, it's amazing. I can't think of what his name is. And it's getting to me. Anyways, want to give credit where credit is due. That was great, great, great stuff. He's always got some great stuff, uh, you know, that he produces. I'll leave with my final thought, which is when you're right, you're right. And that guy is so right on the money. And when you're left, well, you're like Kamala Harris and Tim Awals. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.